Hello, my name is Mary Inden. I've been a framer for 23 years, and today I will explain how to design, assemble, and sell full fillets, which are provided by the Vicki Schober Company. Full fillets come in a variety of colors and patterns and can excite your client about your designs. The entire set can be easily displayed within reach on your design table. Full fillets can be used under the top mat, in between two mats, simply as a liner or in combination with a wood fillet. How do you design framing using full fillets? Color is the most important criteria to coordinate first. The pattern choice is the second criteria. An easy way to determine if the full fillet will work is to slowly slide the sample over the art. Ask yourself, does it complement the art, disappear, or conflict with the art's colors. If the colors match, if the pattern matches, you probably have a winner. Almost any artwork could be enhanced with these accessories. Photos, posters, original paintings, and limited editions, even wedding rings can all be framed using full fillets. Notice the double thick bevel. Be sure to select a frame that will accommodate the additional thickness. How much do I show of the bevel? You can show just the bevel or show the bevel and some of the additional flat surface. This is not science. It really is a personal choice. Since it's a personal choice, you can ask your client what they like. Get them involved and excited. The main point is just don't overpower the art. Where should the full fillets be placed in the frame design? In general, full fillets are placed under the top or the middle mat. A wood fillet can be added in the top mat over the full fillet or inside the full fillet. When designing, you should feel comfortable using all the elements at your disposal. This includes combining a wood fillet with a full fillet. Baby photos are some of the most popular items being framed today. Your first impulse might be to pull something kind of cutesy and this full fillet has glitz, it's got silver and gold and an off-white mat seems like it would be logical. However, I just see the mat and the frame. I'm not really looking at the baby. Now let's really focus and see what we're really looking at. What I'm seeing in this picture is the burgundy border. It's actually a strong element in this montage that we have, and I think I'd like to play that up in my design. When I look through the selection of full fillets, I find a very nice burgundy suede. It not only matches the color of the border, but it mimics the softness of the baby blankets in the photo. Now we've added a silver wood fillet and an off-white mat, and a frame with some delicate elements, because our subject is a baby. Let's take one last look at both designs. This baby is overpowered by the design. This baby is now the focal point. The framing just fits. Now let's take a look at another design really closely. Notice that the full fillet has a dappled black, green, and gold texture to it, and the artwork behind it has a very similar pattern in the brush and the trees in the picture. As we move the full fillet across the art, we notice that the full fillet matches the artwork in color, contrast, and pattern. Even the sunset is accentuated by the gold in the full fillet. When we see this full fillet around the entire piece of art, we notice that it really enhances this artwork nicely. Now let's take a look at a different full fillet with the same artwork in the background. You'll notice that the color of the full fillet matches nicely with the grass that's in the middle of the artwork. When we lay the full fillet down on the art, we will notice that the pattern of the full fillet actually matches the pattern of the bent grass in the foreground. When we take a look at the full fillet around the entire piece of art, however, you notice something pretty surprising and that is that this full fillet is just too bright for the piece of art. I am distracted by the bright green full fillet, and since we don't want to detract from the main subject, which is the sunset in the barn, the darker full fillet might be the better choice based on your discussions with your client. You and your client will need to decide which choice is best for them. 
Lastly, let's look at a quick design idea for contemporary piece. Notice the rough canvas looking texture of the art. As we move up the piece, you will notice the contrast of the dark brown and gold details. As we move up again, we notice the abstract trees and landscape, which are the focal point of the piece and therefore need to be accentuated. With these three elements in mind, we select a gold and brown full fillet that highlights the middle gold and brown abstract elements. Then we add a moss green linen mat that matches the green rough texture of the lower part of the piece. Thirdly, we have a distressed simulated tree bark frame that matches the last element, the trees and the landscape. In the end, we see all of these elements come together as one cohesive design that has become part of the artwork. How are full fillets measured? Once you've decided how much of the art you want to see, this is called your site size. Be sure to include any border you want to show, or portion of the undermat, or the width of a wood fillet. You must then accurately measure that site size. If you are unsure as to what your measurement should be, have a coworker double check your site size. A good phrase to keep in mind is measure twice, cut once. To assemble your faux fillet, lay the strips on a flat, clean surface, making sure they are placed correctly for size. While holding the edges of the two strips firmly together, apply acid-free framers tape across the two edges. Reinforce by applying a second piece of tape along the edges. When the edges are correctly adhered, turn it over and apply tape the same way on the other side. Once assembled, you'll need a straight edge, a razor, and your frame measurements to accurately trim down your full fillet. Don't forget, measure twice, cut once. Lastly, let's talk about getting your client excited. Communicate with your client. Explain how the colors, contrast, patterns, and overall feeling match what you're framing. Tell the client all the positive things you notice about the design. If your client picks an element that's not quite right, be diplomatic and say, I see why you like this, let's keep that here, but let's look for another choice that might be an improvement. When you've hit on a winning design, close the sale. Another way to get your client excited is to use descriptive vocabulary such as rich, luxurious, formal, casual, gritty, fun, comical, distressed, polished and elegant. This is a great way to get your client excited. Why? They are extremely specific words that have clear meaning. They make you sound intelligent and like a professional. They help get your client excited. Don't forget one thing. Smile. Just not all the time. It may seem obvious, but smiling is a great way to build rapport with your client and get them excited. Smile when you find a good design, when you agree with a change in design, as well as the final design. Tell the client when you're excited about a design. This will give your client the feeling they are making the right decision. Today we have shown you how to design, assemble, and sell full fillets so you will feel comfortable doing so in the future. Your comfort level and competence will directly impact your ability to sell full fillets to your clients. Do your best to make your clients excited and happy with a great design. Remember, measure twice, cut once, and keep smiling.